To the southwest of the Lion Kingdom, today's Sri Lanka, lay a remote and desolate island. Its 500-odd households made their living from hunting birds. Never having heard the Buddha's teachings, they did not know the workings of karmic cause and effect. One day, several thousand large fish suddenly approached the island. Remarkably, they seemed able to speak. They opened their mouths and chanted, Namo Amitabha Buddha. Bewildered, the inhabitants were unaware that such fish existed. They called them Amitabha fish for the moment. If anyone chanted Namo Amitabha Buddha along with them, the fish would swim nimbly towards the chanter. The more frequent the chants, the closer they approached. The fish wouldn't flee, even if they were caught or killed. After Amitabha chanting, it was said, the fish tasted especially delicious when cooked. Some people did not chant much. Though they caught fish too, the meat wasn't tasty. All the islanders loved to eat the fish. As a result, every household chimed in and chanted loudly. Later, one of the first islanders to catch and eat the fish passed away. After three months, this person visited the island, riding a purple cloud and emitting bright beams of light. I am the old man who caught and ate Amitabha fish. When my life ended, I was reborn in the land of bliss. Do you know that the large shoal of fish was manifested by Amitabha Buddha? Amitabha Buddha took pity on us in our ignorance. He used such skillful means to encourage us to recite his name. If you don't believe me, have a look at the fish bones. Hearing this, the islanders went looking for the bones they had thrown away. Ah, what bones! Every piece was a lotus petal. All who witnessed this spectacle were deeply touched. They resolved from then on to eat a vegetarian diet and protect living things, as well as to recite exclusively Amitabha Buddha's name. Eventually, everyone was reborn in the Pure Land. The island became uninhabited. Why were they able to be reborn? Consider that the nature of fire is to burn and that of water is to nourish. It's the same with Amitabha recitation. The nature of Amitabha's name is to enable sentient beings to gain rebirth in the Pure Land. Anyone who recites Namo Amitabha Buddha is invariably embraced by the Buddha's light and reborn in the land of bliss.